before we discuss this weekend's games, we've got to do a postmortem on the wild card teams that uh, have joined the rest of the NFL's dearly departed. Dad got uh, the Rams. Yes, I do. Hmm. Uh, one thing that they can build off of from this season? <laughs> that they have the talent to actually win. Um, because they had the same squad the year before <laughs> <laughs> under Mr. Fisher, and they couldn't pull it off. And that they actually, their quarterback that they drafted number one overall is actually the future. Okay. While, while the puppet master's still there. <coughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and uh, one thing that they need to address in the offseason so that they can go further next season. In all bold and twenty two fun, <laughs> yes. sign Aaron Donald to a long term deal. Yeah. I don't I mean, obviously it's a no brainer. Yeah. But he's in training camp early. They don't fuck around the first game or two. They're it, in sync. Mm. They maybe get a bye. Maybe they get a bye instead of playing week one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, is that then their biggest off de- off season decision to make? No, because that's a no brainer. They're gonna fucking do it. <laughs> um, the biggest decision to make so? is actually to decide what their biggest needs that they need to address because they need interior O line help, outside linebacker, mm-hmm. cornerback, strong safety. Um, and aside from their biggest improvement from the previous year, bringing in Andrew Wentworth to uh, to the line, yeah, um, they need to address John Sullivan who's their center, yes. he's a free agent. Yep. And their weakest link on the line was their right tack or right guard. So they need to figure that out. They need to sign the center or they need to bring in two pieces. Um, outside linebacker, Connor Barwin is a free agent. Yep. He's older. Do yep. you sign him? Do you draft that position? Um, Tremaine Johnson is nearing a big free agent deal. He already, they already fran- franchise tagged him twice. Yep. So he can't, you know. Got to pay the man. Got to pay him. Uh, Joyner and and Roby Coleman are free agents. What's their money looking like? That um, I'm doing. I'm, I'm doing research here. Yeah, because I, <laughs> <laughs> look at the cheerleaders. <laughs> that, I'm, I'm look at the cheerleaders. I'm, I'm not sure of their cap space, but are those cut, are their needs that they are need they to address. Are they cutting Baltimore? Hey, well, stop it. Let's, let's, <laughs> wow. I'm, I might. I might get to that. Uh, next question. Well, I'm going to ask you. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the one thing they should do that we all know they will not do? Not resign Sammy Watkins. <laughs> wow, you think they're going to sign Sammy Watkins? He led them in touchdowns. Eight touchdowns this year. The reason why they should not is because what is that um, free agent money going to look like for him? Oh. They have they have Robert Woods, yeah, who uh, had 15 more targets, 27 more receptions, 200 more yards, just three less touchdowns than him. Yeah. They had Cooper Cup, the rookie, yeah. who was second on the team in targets. Um, and, and receptions behind Gurley, but the same amount of touchdowns as Woods. Yeah. So that's making up for that production. Yeah. They also have Gurley, who is second on the team in yards. Right. Receptions and touchdowns, which helps make, make up the difference in that. And then they can actually let Tavon loose in the slot if they decide that, because he's not a free agent. Aww. You, you're advocating keeping Tavon? Do you bring back the 23 year old clipboard holder? I think, I think you get rid of both of them. It's not like you can't address that address that in the draft. But is that? Oh, that but what's but what's the but what's? It, I, I wonder if it, it would be a dead money situation though with Tavon. With we'd Tavon, I, I it, it would, we're it definitely he's, he's under contract. I don't see. Uh, yeah. I don't see uh, the clip hold, the clipboard holder coming back. Sammy he, Watkins. Because but, at, even there he was a problem. L.A. fan favorite, led the team in touchdown receptions, even though he should have caught. But that he was a problem pass. in the locker room. We're definitely going to be looking at the Rams cap situation in our last episode of this season. <laughs> I, I, I wonder why. I've got 